Come on. Come on. Come on. Yo, what's up, Rioters? This is Rex Rath, and yeah, I know it's been a while since I made the last video, right? I mean, what the hell have I been doing this whole time? I mean, to be honest, if you're really curious, I've been on Twitch, been playing some Mario Maker, so if you're interested, go to, you know, twitch.tv slash rexrath if you want to check me out. But speaking of curiousness, um, we're going to be doing a Curiosity Box unboxing today, and I'm sure you're super surprised by that, especially since it's in the title of the video. So we're going to get down into this. If you don't know what the Curiosity Box is, it's a fantastic subscription service from Vsauce, and it's completely new. This is the second box in the series. I have one other. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check out the first box. It's really awesome, filled with a lot of sciencey goodness. You can get one of these uh, four times a year. You know, if you want to do the full year, half a year, doesn't matter, whatever you want to do, just go to thecuriositybox.com to check it out. And part, part of the proceeds will always go to Alzheimer's Research. And I forgot exactly how much they raised before. They have in one of their videos, so if you're subscribed to Vsauce, you probably already know. So we're not going to get any more chatter here. We're going to get into this curiosity box to see what I got this time around. First thing being the, uh, the uh, Curiosity Quarterly. And this is the list of all the things that you get inside the box. So let's not spoil what we're getting and check it out individually. Looks like we've got some lovely gift wrap with ink all over it. That's the curiosity guy right there. Fantastic. It's got all the Vsauce colors and everything. Oh, I almost don't want to use this. This looks so cool. And you got three different wrapping color papers. All of the Vsauce stuff on it. Hey, if you want to gift any of your, you know, any, any of the stuff you get in your box, I guess you can do that now, huh? Anyway, that's really cool. Okay, we've got magnetic iron filings, interval timekeeper. I actually have one of these. My uh, one of my coworkers got me one of these, but I'll show you guys what it is because it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the base. It's a magnet on the bottom of the base there. It's got the little curiosity box icon and logo on there at the bottom. So here we have the magnetic filing hourglass and all you do is you put on the magnetic base and just watch as the iron filings make those cool little just patterns as it goes down and keeps track of time. I don't know how much time it actually keeps track of. Maybe it is actual, an actual hour but I have no idea. Anyway that one looks really really cool. So I'm gonna put that there and hope I don't break it because that wouldn't be good. Oh, look at that. We've got a Vsauce beanie. So I can put that on right now. Why not ditch the uh, ditch the old fedora for right now? Hopefully it fits my giant head. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now I'm ready for winter. Let's see. We've got UV sauce. 320, sorry, 372 nanometer electromagnetic wavelength generator. Black light reactive. Hmm. Does this mean it's a black light? Okay, so it looks like we've got a little UV lamp here, which is really cool looking. It's got two settings, torch and tube. I would show it to you, but unfortunately I don't have batteries inside of it right now. And I actually don't have any batteries to use, so I'm gonna have to go out and get some. So that'll have to happen later, but let's see what it says here. Shine this lamp on your teeth, your nails, paper money, the box you're currently reading, or anything you want. You'll notice that certain items will glow. It's because they contain phosphors, which absorb the energy, UV radiation we can't see, from a lamp and re-emits it as visible light. What was once hidden in the invisible to the human eye ultraviolet light range is now revealed. So that's awesome. I now have my own UV light. I will take that. Look at that. It's even got a convenient little handle on it, a little, little lanyard. Oh, that's cool. And it looks like you can even prop it up. Ooh, I'm going to have fun with that. What else we got in here? Germ simulator. Now with, glow, bleh, now with glowing powers. Let's see what's inside here, shall we? So this is lotion-based simulated germs glows under ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet? What am I thinking? Ultraviolet light. So another fun thing to use with our little UV lamp, shake well. I'd use it now, but unfortunately, it doesn't have a smell to it. Unfortunately, I don't have batteries. All right, moving on. Okay, it looks like we have a UV sauce ultraviolet poster. So another thing to use with a little UV lamp here. This is sweet. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. These animals glow under UV. Alrighty. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to get some batteries and definitely show you guys. But it looks like from the faint outline, I can see a spider, a jellyfish, 
And some other things, looks even like a millipede. I didn't know that. Scorpions? Hmm. Now I just want to go find some creatures out in the woods and see how this thing works on them. <laughs> Ooh, ideas are flourishing in my mind. Okay, what other goodies are inside? Oh, you know I've never actually had one of these, a little gyroscope. So if you don't know what this thing does, I will show you. Okay, so we got our gyroscope all wound up, so let's give it a, whoops. Well, I gave it a spin and there it goes. Whoop. Didn't give it enough of a spin though. Here all right, so we've got our gyroscope all wound up. So let's give it a pull. I broke it. This is not working as planned. Okay, so we've got the string set on our gyroscope, so let's give it a tug. And now it's set in motion. If I'm correct, it should just balance on things, although it's gonna be really hard to do that on my finger. Just put it on there and watch the magic happen. It's so cool. All the motion keeps it stabilized. I forget what that's called, but look it up. It's a thing. What else we got? We got Letter Quest Remastered. So it looks like some little game. The power of words, the Grim Reapers, Grim and Rose need your help to defeat a legion of monsters, ghouls and evil bunnies using the power of words, spell words to battle monsters, earn gems and use them to purchase upgrades, books, special items, potions, and much more. Letter Quest is a game about using your linguistic skills to survive. It's a turn-based RPG featuring high-res artwork, clever sword I almost said clever swordplay, clever wordplay, and a great soundtrack. So I'm gonna have fun with that. I do love me some good words. I blame my father for getting me into the passion of linguistness. Words and yeah, I can't word today though, so forget that. Let's see what we got here. We got the Vsauce exclusive t-shirt. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, look at that robot. This looks awesome. I can't wait to wear this thing. And I'm betting I have a funny feeling that it probably glows under the UV light as well. In fact, this will work well in my other uh, Vsauce shirt that I got the last time because it has glow in the dark. And glow in the dark glows better when you use UV because it's so high energy. Okay, what else is in the box? We also have this here, Ultra Products that are ultraviolet. And I assume this is just telling you all about all the ultra UV stuff. Stop saying ultraviolet and just go to UV. It's just easier that way. And we have New York Times bestseller, Packing for Mars, The Curious Science of Life in the Void. So another fun book, it looks like. And I think that's everything in the box. And I know there's usually something hidden down in there, but uh, it's whatever. You can look online for that. I don't feel like dismantling the box right now. So yeah, that was the Curiosity Box. That was the second one. So thanks again to the Vsauce guys for making such an awesome plethora of items all in one box. And that was really cool. I've got some really fun items right now. I'm gonna have fun playing with those. So yeah, but that was this. And I wanna thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully I'll have some more videos out in the future. Again, I've been doing a lot of Twitch, so I've been doing that more. You can find me more easily on there these days. But thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. I hope you raise up this ride. If you want to join the ride, hit subscribe and stay up to date on all my videos. And as always, I will catch you all next time. Terminated.